Yes, you read the title correctly. This commentary will be 100% curse-free. Since my last video was 100% uncensored road rage, this will be 100% censored curse-free comedy. I'm doing this commentary all the way through on one full shot. No editing, no mashing the clips together to get this commentary. If I mess up, I'm starting the video from scratch all the way from the beginning. And I'm not taking the easy way out either. I'm not going to be saying things like, oh, what the F, or that's bull spit. Look at this monkey feather. No, 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 no. This is going to be completely legit. Also, at the end of the video, I'll tell you how many takes it took just to get this in one full shot because I guarantee you there is no way in hell I was able to get through this without messing up a few of these takes. Alright, now that we got that out the way, time to start the race up in here. Now, if you watched my prior video, you saw that in the race right before this, this toilet liquor of a teammate that I have now called Jace ESP was a racer and I needed to catch this fool with a cop. Now, instead of just racing like everyone else, he decided he was going to play like a chicken. His main goal was to crash me out instead of actually playing the game as a racer. So in the end, I busted this fool and he ends up rage quitting. So when he goes to find a new game or a new lobby, whatever the hell, he ends up in the same room as we are now, and this time now we're teammates. So instead of him being a cop, now he's a racer along with me. So there you see him pass him, and as I've always said, once I'm in first place, game on. You're not catching. As soon as I'm in first place, that means this race is completely over. No cop is going to catch me, especially when I have this car. Now right here, I don't know how I got through that roadblock, but you know what? I don't care. All I got is a little scratch inside of my car. I can buff that out with a little bit of paint and whatnot. But once I have this car right here, I think it's called the, the Porsche Concept 918 or something like that. Porsche Concept 19. Well, I don't know. Whatever. It's supposed to be a concept car, but whatever it is, it's the best car in the game. It's in the fourth tier of racing cars, and it's the last car you unlock. And I mean, regardless of how fast the other cars are, the other cars are a little bit faster than this. No car handles like this. It is easily the best handling car in the entire game. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use it. I don't care if it's the people are going to say, oh, it's cheap using the best car. Who cares? It's a racing game. I mean, the fact is, it's not even the fastest car in the game. It just happens to be the best handling. I don't know why that car just disappeared right there. I mean, he just literally, like, vanished. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I didn't run into him. They can have all these cars disappear and whatnot. I'm still going to finish this race in first place. I don't know what happens here, but that helicopter right there is supposed to drop a spike ship right in front of me. For whatever reason, he didn't feel like dropping. I guess he realizes there's no way in heck they're going to catch me. So, like, you know what? Just let him go. <laughs> See, man, even the computer knows there's no way in hell that these cops are going to actually catch me. Now, if you look at the race, first of all, this is a really unfair race. There's only three cops, right? There are three cops trying to catch four racers, and like I've said, being a cop is damn near impossible because it's so hard to capture racers. So on top of that, you're going to give us four racers? You know, that's unfair, man. If it was fair, they would have given four cops and three racers. That'll make things a lot easier. Now watch, this is the only mistake I make in this game. I try to get through the little space there, and I end up hitting the damn Porsche Cayenne right there. So that is the one and only time you'll see me crash in this race. But the funny thing is, even with that crash, I'm still so far out in front that nobody's even come close to capturing me. You see the, the, the lead that I had, it said 18 seconds right there, and then I think it's gonna get down to 13, whatever. I lost five seconds to these guys, no big deal. I'm way out in front, and there's nobody in this game that's actually gonna catch up to me. But if you look at the level of the racers versus the cops, there's three 20 level racers in the room, right? So that's the maximum level. Then you have a level 17. So for the most part, we're highly ranked racers. Now, when you look at the cops, there's a 20, there's a 17, but there's also a 12. You know how unfair that is? That means there's no way in hell he actually has one of the decent cars to unlock as a cop. That's not right. I mean, that's just absolutely wrong. What they should have done is they should have had the four cops. That would have balanced it out. What they should have really done, if this game was really into good karma, they should have made Jace ESP a cop to make him try and catch up to me, man. Because after the last game, man, he deserves to be a cop. He deserves to let me frustrate the heck out of him. And right here, you're going to see that's one of my other mistakes that I make right there. I wanted to be slick. I wanted to be like, just get around that sucker right there. For whatever reason, I clipped him in the butt and I scraped the side of my car. Well, whatever, man. I'll buff that out too. So there you see one of the racers got captured. I don't know how bad you must have been actually get captured. That was the level 17 guy. So obviously he wasn't part of the level 20 crew. But man, how do you let those low level cops capture you? And you know, if you look at the score, it wasn't even the level 20 that got him. It had to be either the level 17 or the level 12 guy. <laughs> That's really bad, man. I mean, unless you constantly crashed out or you have like some of the other racers drop their spike strips in front of you. That's one of the reasons why I always say when you get out in front, there is no way in hell the cops are going to capture you because you're not going to hit spike strips. The only thing you really have to worry about are things like this, this roadblock. But look at it. Look at how much space they give me on the side. Now right there, I just missed hitting that truck again. That would have been pretty bad if I messed that part up. So there again, the actual helicopter gets it right this time. It drops the spike strip. But look at it. One mile to the finish. It's time to burn my turbo out. And like I said, there was no way in the world these cops were going to catch me. What's going to happen? 
absolutely wasn't gonna happen. Three cops in a room versus me and this one clown that wants to be able to crash people out, man. That was just an unfair race. So in the end, I'm gonna get all the way to the finish line in first place, and I'll have to sit here and wait a whole 60 seconds for the other guys to finish. Now, you know, this is what ticks me off about this game. Why do I have to wait for them? Why do I have to sit here and actually just wait at the finish line? Why can't I watch the actual race? But you know what? Whatever. Like I said, guys, I wanted to mention how many times it took me to get to this point, and <laughs> it actually took me 13 tries to get through this whole video to be able to do it without cursing. So you guys are going to be able to watch all the bloopers after this. I'm going to show you each and every time that I messed up. You guys are going to have a whole bunch of fun laughing at me when I do this. Anyway, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Notice I didn't say the curse. <laughs> you see, I even kept it all the way up to the end. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next Need for Speed video. But be sure to stay tuned and watch the bloopers. And you guys are going to see all the times that I messed this one up. And I'm not going to take the cheap way out either. I'm not going to be saying things like, what the F, or, or, or that's bullspit, or anything like that, man. I'm going to keep this shit legit. Oh, fuck. Now, if you remember in the prior race, this guy, Jace ESP, all he wanted to do was crash me out. He didn't care about winning the race. He didn't actually want to get to the finish line. His whole purpose was to make sure that he crashed some kind of cop car out. You know, there's no challenge for that bullshit. Oh, fuck. Yes, you read the title correctly. This commentary will be 100% curse-free. And since my last video was called 100% Uncensored Road Rage, I'm gonna call this motherfu- Oh, shit! So right here, I'm gonna pass this more that I've been talking about, Jace ESP. Now, I don't know why the game put him in first place. I guess because he just joined the lobby or whatever. But like I said, man, once I'm in first place, it's race over. Nobody's capturing me once I get in the first place. You see, they can put this roadblock in my way. Look at that. I got through that shit and all I got- Oh, fuck. And for this race, you guys can see I'm using one of my favorite cars. You guys have probably seen me use it a thousand times in my other racer videos. I'm using the Porsche Concept 918 Spider. I don't know, whatever the fuck that shit is. Oh, fuck! You know how hard this shit is not being able to curse? God damn. And you can see, just like every other Need for Speed game, they have all these different terrains. We were just on a major highway right there. And look at this guy rage quitting up in the corner. Now all of a sudden we're in the middle of the goddamn desert. Oh. So now we're coming down to the final straightaway. Look at this. They're going to put this roadblock in front of me. You think that's going to stop me? But look, I almost clipped that guy. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad. So the cop's going to drop his spike ship right here. That shit ain't going to stop. Oh, fuck. Look, one mile to the finish and I fucked this goddamn thing up. Yes, you read the title correctly. This commentary will be 100% curse-free. My last video was called 100% Uncensored Road Rage. So I figured, you know what? Fuck it. Let's... Oh. <laughs> I can't even get the first fucking sentence right. Now you're about to see one of the worst roadblocks in this game. Look at all this space that I have on this road, and they put all those cars there. Like, I won't go around here? Come on, man. That's some retarded stuff right there. So right here, this guy gets busted. I don't know how you get busted in this race. There are only three cops. How do you get busted? Plus, look at the low-ass levels they have. There is no way that they should have captured him. There is absolutely no reason he should have got captured in this race. But you know what? He got captured. I don't care. I'm on my way to first place, so I can care less what happens behind me. Now, you see how unfair a race it is. First of all, they only have three cops. How in the world do they expect three cops to capture all four races, especially when they're lower level? I mean, look at the level. They have a level 12 in the room. They're not going to be able to capture up to three level 20 guys. That's just so unfair, man. What they should have done was they should have made this guy Jace ESP a cop. That way, I could have knocked his behind around all around the race this time. Now, watch right here. This is the only stupid-ass mistake that I make. Ah, oh, fuck! You know, getting through this shit without cursing is really a pain in my ass right now, man. I'm getting pissed at this shit. Look at that, I'm 13.68 seconds in front of this guy. Do you really think they're gonna catch up to me? <laughs> they could give these guys all the turbo in the fucking world that... <sighs> you know, <laughs> I'm getting fucking pissed at this shit. I ain't gonna lie, man. Oh. You know, if you guys you play this game, what you want to do is use this car every single time. It is smooth. It is perfect, man. I don't know what the hell happened right there. That guy just disappeared. <laughs> See, even the control computer AI says, you know what? Let's just get out this motherfucker. Oh, fuck. You know, I'm getting pissed at this shit. This is really fucking pissing me off, man. This was a bad fucking idea.